Hi, me again. This is Katie. I've tried like four times in these videos. I'm hoping it'll work out now. Okay, so um, this is about the classics, uh, or what I consider my classics in um, learning over my journey of being a prayer person. So I have them all backwards because I've done this several times. <laughs> so I'm shifting them over there. Okay. First is the Disciples' Prayer Life, Walking in Fellowship with God, Disciples' Prayer Life by T.W. Hunt and Catherine Walker. This was uh, foundational to me in getting started with uh, exploring prayer in a very biblically sound, um, thorough way. Um, excuse me as I continue to transfer my pile here. Um, around that same time, this was years ago, I don't know, like 15 years ago or 10, to, no, no, not 15. I don't know, something like that. Anyway. Sermio Mardian has lots of books, Power of Praying This and That, um, Power of Praying Woman, uh, and Power of Praying Wife are ones that I did. Um, these were really great in helping me to learn how to um, really explore prayer and experiment with it. Um, and then uh, this Daniel Henderson one, Transforming Prayer, How Everything Changes When You Seek God's Face, was uh, really an excellent um very life changing in terms of prayer and um, my sense, my own sense of ministry really started with this one. Um, these other ones were when I was kind of like learning myself. And then this one was when I just went, people have got to know this stuff. So um, then another one, um, this is a new uh, one that I, I will newly consider a classic because this actually just came out this past spring, I think called moving mountains, praying with passion, confidence and authority by John Eldridge. Um, a lot of really great things in here that um, already I already have prayer stories about. Um, okay, um, this is called Fervent, A Woman's Battle Plan for Serious, Specific, and Strategic Prayer by Priscilla Shirer. She does excellent studies. She's the one who starred in the movie War Room, which was awesome. And if you haven't seen it, um, it was really touching to me. I loved it. Um, and then, you know, eventually we'll get to talking about spiritual warfare. And um, there are different books that I have sitting around that I peruse um, for reference and for kind of like more thorough information. And um, one of them is called Disarming the Darkness, A Guide to Spiritual Warfare by Calvin Miller. Um, I've been, um, I had perused that for uh, one weekend. <laughs> and then The Adversary, The Christian versus Demon Activity. Um, this is a, this is a really pithy one and I just, um, that's got a lot for me to, um, tackle. This is one that I, um, love the title of possessing the gates of the enemy, a training manual for militant intercession. This is a, this is a title that probably wouldn't exist in this current time in our culture, but back in the nineties when this was written, wasn't such a big deal. <clears throat> and then, um, a study that I, uh, listened to recently actually called God, Satan, and the Angels, a John MacArthur study, which is on tape. Uh, this is awesome. There are so many things that you just don't normally think about that are right there in the Bible that have to do with God, Satan, and the Angels. And uh, this is incredible. Um, and then this is one that's not a Christian book. It's not a book on prayer. It's not a Christian book. Um, but it's central to how I started really thinking more uh, in detail about spiritual warfare because I mean in in terms of uh, warfare because it has to do with warfare the art of war for small business defeat the competition and dominate the market with the masterful strategies of Sun Tzu by Becky Sheets I um uh so Sun Tzu is a classic anyway we'll get to this eventually that'll be another video that that I'll tackle um but that's another one that just sort of uh really got my attention in terms of thinking about um prayer and warfare in a different way and then for those of you who are going where's the bible why isn't she referring to the bible at the very bottom of my stack not because it's the bottom of my stack, but because it's foundational, is the Bible. Because all of this is the foundation for these. So, yes, I definitely um, defer to the Bible as the foundational book of all for prayer. Just for those of you who might be concerned about that. <laughs> so, that's where I'm coming from. That's where my journey has led me into. And uh, I... Can't wait to share and 
hopefully help someone out there understand prayer a little bit more. Thank you. <laughs>